Okay, so we're just going to take a look at the uh, clinical counseling roles or the practice dimension of uh, being a counselor. And what does that mean, okay? As we move forward in this uh, Part 822 New General Service Standards, let's uh, take a look at that, shall we? Okay, and here we go. What is the role of a counselor? What's the role of a counselor? Anybody want to take a shot at answering that? Anybody, shout it out. In the back there, can you hear me? Anybody? Give you a clue. It's a one word answer, okay? The role of a counselor is as a facilitator, okay? That's what we are. If you are in a group, or individual counseling, you are a, quote, facilitator, okay? So what does, what does that mean? Okay. Here's the definition of facilitator. A facilitator is a person or thing that makes an action or process easy or easier. So here's that word process, okay? What is recovery? a process of change. That's a series of steps or actions that an individual will take to achieve a specific particular goal or objective. In this case, recovery from addiction, substance use disorder, okay? So that's what we are facilitating. We are making that process easy or easier. And a facilitator is a person who helps a group of people to work together. Let's just talk about that for a second. This is a generic dictionary definition of facilitator, okay? So a group of people, as in group therapy, a group of people are people who are in a group, as in group therapy. So a facilitator is a person who helps a group in group therapy of people work together to better understand their common objectives, recovery from substance use disorder, and plan how to achieve object objectives during group meetings and discussions. So you are facilitating that in group therapy, how they can work together. It's called universality, shared common goals. Um, we are doing, that's what we're doing in group therapy. We are facilitators. We are helping that move forward. I'll just give you a little insight here. If you're doing most of the talking in group, uh, you're not facilitating, you're doing something else. So that doesn't require a lot of talking on the part of the facilitator. You're just making the process easy or easier, or, or directing or content and process, keeping it on topic and moving forward, okay? Same question. What is a counselor? You know the answer. The role of a counselor is as a facilitator, not, repeat, not a pontificator. Okay, so I know that doesn't apply to anyone who's watching this training, but let's just see what that is. See if we know anybody who does this, okay? Is pontificator defined? Pontificator is a person who expresses their opinion in a way that is considered annoyingly pompous and dogmatic. I know it's no, none of you are doing that, okay? I just want to address this because I know, we know counselors who uh, take that position of they're imparting this important information that the patient needs, that the patient's sitting here, I have some important information that you need to know if you want to be successful in treatment and recovery. I know what's best for you. Listen to me and I will help you get clean and stay clean. And, and if you're not going to listen to me, I can't help you then, you know. Look, I know it's not nobody watching this, but you do know because I know and I've seen it. Uh, counselors who express their opinion about what the patients need to do and it's considered 
annoyingly pompous and dogmatic and the patients get a resentment actually when when counselors talk like that okay so in counseling you don't want to take the role of the authority figure that you know what's best for the patient and um you're going to tell them what's best for them what they need to do that's not that's not patient-centered counseling okay that's counselor centered <laughs> counseling okay uh it's not patient centered we and you'll see this become more apparent as we move forward as far as patient centered goals and objectives okay so i just want to clear i know it's nobody who's watching this okay but you do know some people who do that What is the definition of counseling? Okay, so we are counselors. Counselors are facilitated. But what is counseling? Okay. Counseling is a supportive, collaborative, and empathetic professional relationship or therapeutic alliance that provides a framework for the exploration of emotions Let's just take a look at this for a second. This framework, or we are reframing our patient's perception of their self-efficacy, the perceptions of what their self is and how they see themselves. Uh, so we're helping them reframe it from their, uh, their perception of how they see themselves because there's, there's an incongruency there so of how they see themselves and how, how they want to be and how they're going about doing it. It doesn't work for them. So... We're helping them reframe through probing and counseling and facilitation the exploration of their emotions. Okay, so let me give you the, the next part. Their emotions, behaviors, interpersonal, and thinking patterns. So with this emotions or their feelings, for the most part, we are helping our patients, we are facilitating our patients to help them resolve the unresolved feelings of the wreckage of their past. And you know what those feelings are, guilt, shame, remorse. This, this disease has robbed them of their identity. So we are helping them resolve the damage that they've done primarily to their families and the people who love them the most. So we're helping them resolve those unresolved feelings, behaviors, interpersonal and thinking patterns, and the facilitation of healthy change. So here it is, okay? This is what we do. Counseling is a supportive, collaborative, and empathetic professional relationship or therapeutic alliance that provides a framework for the exploration of emotions, behaviors, interpersonal and thinking patterns, and the facilitation of healthy change. Now I got this cited here because okay, I'm not making this stuff up. And here's the textbook. I want to check it out. Okay. Because I'm not making this stuff up. I'm practicing. It's a practice dimension. Let's see what the part 822 has to say about what is the role of a counselor. This is from the part 822 general service standards, which is what this training is about. Under part 822.5N, individual counseling. Individual counseling is a service between a clinical staff member, that's you guys, and a patient focused on the needs and goals of the patient. Say more about that in a second. That is delivered consistent with the treatment recovery plan, its development, and emergent issues. So the reason I have that this highlighted here, as we get into the training, with patient-centered therapy, uh, we want to focus on the patient's identified goals, and we want to facilitate the achievement of those goals but it's patient identified we're asking them to tell us within their framework what they want to what their goals are in recovery um, and this will become 
clearer to you when we get into the training as far as um, what the uh, new treatment recovery plan um, objectives are. So we're in the treatment recovery plan, we're addressing the um, treatment goals of the patient and we're updating that treatment plan. It evolves, it's fluid, it's evolving as we move forward through the patient's treatment. Their treatment re recovery plan is fluid. It's evolving at each and every visit with the patient. And I'll explain a little bit more about that. But we're focusing on patient-centered therapy. Okay, uh, we'll Q&A discussion. If you have any questions or to, uh, I'll be happy to answer them, you shoot me an email. Um, but we can have discussions, or if you want to have a discussion, if you're watching this with a, in a group, you can discuss it amongst yourselves. But I'll be happy to answer any questions. Okay? All right, let's uh, move forward then. Okay? All right.